Hi, my name is Carissa Casper and I work in community and communications for West Coast Seeds. I'm also the founder of Seed and Nourish, where I help transform space and self through the power of the kitchen garden. And today we're going to talk about how to grow vining vegetables along trellis. So vining vegetables like peas, pole beans, indeterminate tomatoes, and cucumbers make great vegetables to grow up along a trellis. When you grow these vegetables vertically up a trellis, you will get more sun, better air circulation, which means less disease, and you'll produce more tomatoes and straighter cucumbers, peas, and beans. It also provides great vertical interest in the garden and can create a feeling of being in a garden room. One of my favorite trellis to use are these arch trellis like you see here. It feels to me when I'm entering the garden space like I'm coming into a secret garden. So I'm going to teach you step by step how it's done. The varieties that you're going to choose are going to be really important in your success. If you want to choose peas to grow up your trellis, you want to choose a variety that's going to grow quite tall. My favorite one to grow up an arch trellis is called Alderman. It's an heirloom variety, also referred to as tall telephone, and it can grow up to eight feet tall. It's a shelling pea, so beautiful pods um, with peas that are very sweet and that you can eat either fresh, cooked, or frozen. If you choose to grow green beans on your trellis, you want to choose a pole bean variety. I really like our Vortex pole bean, which produces continuously and abundantly through the season, very tender, crisp green beans. Make sure not to choose a bush bean to grow up a trellis because they will stay compact at about one foot. For cucumbers, I really enjoy some of our Parthenocarpic varieties like Tyria and Roxinanti, which produce really abundantly and are seedless. So I tend to find I need less plants to get the same amount of harvest as some non-parthenocarpic varieties. If you want to grow tomatoes up a trellis structure, you're looking for indeterminate varieties. I love our sweet million cherry tomatoes and our sun gold cherry tomatoes, which produce abundantly very sweet tomatoes for fresh eating, which is such a joy to walk through the trellis and pick through the season. I choose indeterminate over determinant varieties like Mountain Merit because those are going to stay at a compact height and we want to grow tall vertically with indeterminate or vining varieties. The spacing for beans and peas is about pretty similar along a trellis. You'll plant them about three to four inches apart on each side of the trellis and at a depth of about one inch. For cucumbers, you're going to plant them again about an inch deep, but anywhere from nine inches to 18 inches apart. I tend to find when you're growing vertically, the leaves will get quite a bit larger and they really like the extra room to grow. For tomatoes, I'm going to plant them two feet apart. And tomatoes take quite a long time to grow, so you'll want to start these indoors in around March, depending on your region, and transplant them outdoors at the end of May, start of June. As your plants grow in and start to grow vertically, you will need to help them secure to the arch trellis. Peas, cucumbers, and tomatoes will need some help to be tied to the trellis, either with 
tie like this or just a little bit of string. However, beans will find their way up themselves. They use a process called circumnutation, which means that they're going to grow in a counterclockwise motion until they find something to grip on and help their way up. Peas and beans will do best when direct sown into the garden outdoors. Cucumber can either be direct sown outdoors once the soil is warm or started indoors about a month prior and transplanted out for a quicker start. To transplant it, you're just going to dig a hole in the soil the depth of the pot that you are transplanting from and then take out one extra little scoop. Inside the planting hole, you can add some fertilizer like Gaia Green 444 or Power Bloom, which is an organic granular slow release fertilizer. And I'm going to put in quite a lot, two handfuls into the planting hole to ensure that these hungry crops have the nutrition that they need through the season. And I'm going to put a light sprinkle of the soil back into the planting hole so the roots aren't directly touching the fertilizer. And then I'm going to pop my transplant out by squeezing the bottom of the pot at the same time as pinching the bottom of the stem and pulling it out. I'll have a look at the very bottom to see if it's root bound, roots that are wrapping around in a circle. This one looks fine, so I'm going to leave the roots as is, pop it right into the pot, and bring the soil back around and give it a light push in. When I'm growing a vining tomato up an arch trellis, I'm going to want to prune it to a single stem. I want a lot of tomatoes and less foliage, and I want it to grow up really tall. So right now, this seedling has the tall leader in the center, but we also have three suckers that have turned into branches at the bottom. So I'm going to prune off all of those sucker branches, leaving just the single stem before I transplant. To keep your vining vegetables growing healthily over the season, every six inches of growth that they put on, you're going to tie them to the arch to continue growing vertically. So with the tomatoes, you wanna make the tie pretty loose so that the stem has room to continue to grow without being cut off. And we want to keep him growing at a single stem. Indeterminate tomatoes are going to put out suckers which occur in the crooks between the stem and the branches and will turn into their own branches if left alone. So I like to come out weekly and just pinch off those suckers. If I have larger ones like the ones happening below, I'll go ahead and just cut them right off. I'm going to take off the lower leaves as well to help prevent disease so that I keep just this nice clean single stem growing up. The other trick to getting the most out of these plants is to harvest continuously. So as soon as your vegetables are at an edible size, pick them and continue picking them because the more you harvest, the more will grow. Thank you so much for joining us here at West Coast Seeds as we learned how to grow vining vegetables up a trellis. I hope you enjoy creating your own garden room and space for transformation this season. If you'd like to see more, please hit like, subscribe, or comment with any questions. We'll see you again at West Coast Seeds.